Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can redefine the display of data within a named view by issuing the alter view statement in SQL. The syntax of this statement is almost exactly the same as the create view statement. The core SQL of the alter view statement is shown below. The view name parameter is the name of the view to edit, and the select statement parameter is the select statement used to define which records and fields will appear within the edited view. So the core SQL of the alter view statement is alter view view name as select statement. Note that you should check with your RDBMS documentation for any specific variations that you can use in conjunction with the alter view statement. For example, you can use the create or replace view command to act as a substitute for the alter view command within MySQL 5.7. Below are hyperlinks to web pages that explain the implementation of the alter view statement in MySQL 5.7 and SQL Server 2012. Note that Access 2013 does not support the alter view command. You can issue a drop view statement followed by a new create view statement instead if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.